Hello, uh, my name is Philip Bennion. I'm a former member of the uh, European Parliament and I'm currently the Vice President of Liberal International. I'm taking a great interest in Asian affairs at the moment. For instance, I've just been to the earlier in the year to the elections in, in Taiwan. Um, now, I've met with Muso Kwa just very recently uh, to discuss her initiative, uh, the Khmer Movement for Democracy. I think it's a great misfortune that uh, for, for Cambodia as a whole, not just for her, that uh, her and other major opposition figures, uh, such as uh, Sam Rainsey, for instance, are in exile and not in Cambodia, building the potential of their country. Uh, now, according to Human Rights Watch, uh, Cambodia's claims uh, to have a democratic government do not stand up uh, to scrutiny. It is effectively a one-party state with uh, fixed elections, lack of independent media, uh, interference from the ruling party in state institutions, and uh, there is political control of the judici judiciary and um, continued harassment of opposition parties. Now, Hun Sen cracked down on the opposition politicians prior to the election in 2023, as he had uh, before the previous election. Um, this time, the main opposition candlelight party was barred from fielding candidates. Um, however, having won this one party election with a few uh, friendly uh, opposition parties, if you like, uh, in a surprise move, Hun Sen handed power to his son, Hun Manet just days after the election, but he remains rule, um, leader of the ruling CPP, the um, the ruling party. Uh, so it's still very much uh, there in the wings. Now, prior to the election, Hun Sen had already warned the opposition parties uh, not to criticise the government uh, or face court action. Um, this mirrors the previous election where the opposition CNRP leader Kem Sakar was jailed for activities really quite consistent with fighting an election campaign. He has since been convicted of treason and sentenced to 27 years in prison in a manner that uh, suggests that there is a real confusion between the state and a political party. Um, op opposing a, a, a political party and, and, and fighting an election, it does not uh, cons constitute any form of... Uh, uh, of treasonable activity. Uh, additionally, we have now have 18 opposition uh, members banned uh, from holding office for periods of 10 to 20 years, simply for urging uh, voters to spoil their ballots, uh, to express their displeasure at the exclusion of the candlelight party from the election. Now, uh, when we look at what's, uh, what the uh, uh, views are of Cambodia from uh, the rest of the world, uh, uh, the United States has, uh, has been highly critical, as has, has the, have, have the United Nations. Uh, and the European Union uh, in the Parliament, uh, we, we made several attempts to persuade uh, the government of Cambodia to stop the repression of political opposition, both during and since, since my tenure including a resolution calling for the release of Kem Sokar and other political prisoners. Uh, the EU has also condemned the exclusion of the Candlelight Party from the election. And uh, in 2020, of course, it partially suspended everything's, everything but arms trade privileges uh, on the grounds that human rights and democracy had regressed in Cambodia whereas uh, everything but arms is uh, a trade privilege based on improvement um, of democracy and uh, human rights. So having been involved in those debates, uh, running up to the decision, uh, I was actually banned from Cambodia by Hun Sen. With a new prime minister, we can now ask, has the time come for a reset in relations between Cambodia and the EU and the US. There is now, I think, in my view, an opportunity to turn the page and move forward by resolving the differences between the ruling CPP and the opposition parties in, in Cambodia. Uh, 
my view is this this opportunity very much exists. The new Prime Minister, Hun Manet, uh, is young, well-educated. Most of his cabinet are also young, well-educated. Um, and uh, Hun Manet, of course, even has a British university education. There is also still goodwill from uh, from senior opposition um, figures. Um, and I'm also confident that if um, good if 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 we can quickly restore democracy uh, and political re- rights, then um, relations with the European Union and the United States will return to a to a very good state in a in a very short time. Um, such a move, I think, would be good news for all Cambodians, as sectors such as the garment industry and tourism would receive a significant boost. Um, a good working relationship between government and opposition would bring both economic growth and an improvement, for instance, in the functioning of ASEAN. Uh, such a move would not involve a choice, making a choice, between good relations with China or good relations with the West. Um, other ASEAN countries manage good relations with both, and I think Cambodia can do the same. Now, Hun Menet, I think, now has a unique opportunity to deliver for the Cambodian people by freeing up the opposition for a return to full multi-party democracy. Um, And, of course, he would also then uh, be in much more favourable terms with the international community. I believe his people will thank him for this if he seizes the chance. Thank you.